and this is Mission Control Houston. Uh, the crew's very busy today with that successful docking of the SpaceX capsule. It was uh, grappled with the space station's robotic arm uh, earlier this morning at 5.56 a.m. Central Time. Uh, the crew then got a little bit ahead of schedule and managed to berth it to the International Space Station at 8.03 a.m. Central. This uh, being SpaceX's first commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station, which launched back on Sunday uh, from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, delivering a total of 882 pounds of supplies to this orbiting laboratory, including over 390 pounds of scientific research equipment. Meanwhile, on board the station, Sunny Williams uh, began her day doing a quick checkout and routing uh, some cables for the crew command panel which uh, she used throughout the final SpaceX approach to maintain communication with the vehicle and also the ability to send commands uh, both during this uh, berthing and then later on during the uh, departure phase. Uh, she was also monitoring the Dragon spacecraft throughout its entire approach and then capturing it with the space station robotic arm. Uh, following that, she sat back for a few moments uh, along with Akihoshi Day while ground robotics controllers maneuvered the uh, spacecraft into its pre-installed position before finally taking back over and then berthing the Dragon spacecraft. Here we can see her doing uh, what will take up much of the rest of her day, preparing the uh, hatchway in the Harmony module for its initial opening uh, before the astronauts can enter inside and start unloading some of that cargo. She's joined right now by Japanese astronaut Akihoshi Day who was uh, working in tandem with Williams throughout many of these activities throughout the day, uh, also taking the reins at the uh, robotic arm controls for some of the operations and helping to monitor uh, the spacecraft throughout its entire approach. She's also been doing a lot of work on the vestibule and the connection between these uh, two spacecraft, the Dragon and the International Space Station, and he'll continue to work on that throughout the rest of the day. Then our third Expedition 33 crew member, a Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko, uh, has been doing a few uh, research experiments on board in the Russian segment. Uh, he spent a few hours today working on the Typologia experiment, which is a Russian assessment of uh, the mental state and the prediction and correction of quality of, of work of these astronauts, basically just a look into how their cognitive functions are affected by long duration spaceflight. They go through a series of exercises uh, made to test. Uh, out those functions. He's also continuing some work he's been doing on the Kolonovsky crystal experiment, something he started yesterday. It's a research into uh, mi microscopic particles ex uh, being suspended uh, in an electromagnetic trap. So a pretty complex uh, physics ex experiment, one of many of a suite of physics experiments uh, taking advantage of that microgravity environment of the International Space Station. He's also doing uh, some pre-pack work uh, for a Freon leak analyzer, which will be returned on this Dragon spacecraft, part of the over 1,600 pounds of supplies it'll be bringing back down to the Earth's surface. He's also doing some uh, measurements of harmful contaminants using the uh, countermeasure system inside of the Russian uh, Zvezda service module. Uh, just some of the routine replacement work uh, also on the toilet will take up some of his time later in the afternoon. But again, all eyes on this successful uh, capture and berthing of the Dragon spacecraft. The station configuration, as you can see now, with the Dragon all the way in the left there, docked to the Earth-facing side of Harmony. Uh, the other two vehicles, which have been on uh, attached to the station for some time, the Soyuz 31 craft, which carried these two astronauts to the International Space Station back in July, and also the Progress 48, the unmanned Russian cargo ship, also a robotic spacecraft supplying cargo to the crew of Expedition 33.